Good afternoon everyone. I'm just heading through Sutton Valence again and then I'm going on to to a destination past Headcong. Some of you may remember a few videos ago that I found a charming little village of Biddenden. And I'm told if I go through the village and out the other side it could be quite nice. Yep. Uh, what we got here? Already had one lot of hold ups. Oh, I see. Don't know what they're doing, but. Maybe nuisance, anyhow. I believe they're cutting the toll hedge. Since the last video, I've had to buy a new crash helmet because the polystyrene interior became detached from the helmet itself. So, no choice, go and buy a new helmet. Found one okay, got really lovely colours that I like. Sort of a bright yellow black um, motive or design on it. Yeah, took it home, looked at myself in the mirror <laughs> and discovered that it clashed horribly with my riding jacket. So I went back and bought a new jacket to match the hat. Uh -huh. uh, so it cost me just on 100 quid to the hat and another 135 to the coat. So it was a dear old turnout. Then I had the problem of mounting the camera, the head camera to the, to the helmet. The old helmet had a lovely convenient bolt just where the visor rotates, but the new one hasn't. So I've had to sort of stick it on the side of the helmet. Bit of a nuisance, but and the other hassle um, was I carry a device with a microphone that allows me to take telephone calls and make them and listen to the sat nav if necessary. And mounting that in was a bit of a pain. There's the inside of the helmet, although it fits very, very nicely, there's no room inside to root wires around for convenience. So I've ended up with a bit of an abortion, but it works. Yeah, so this will be a test of the sound system and whether the camera is more or less lined up so it doesn't film part of the helmet or the visor. I'll try and get a photograph um, of the helmet uh, so you can see what colour scheme I've picked. Now I've just realised now I'm out and about that the visor on the new helmet needs taking off and giving a clean with soapy water. I don't know what it is about new visors, but they always seem, I don't know, greasy, smearing. There we go, hold up number four. 
Right, once more through Headcorn. Seems a bit quieter today. Here we are, Biddenden. I still haven't got the fire damage building repaired yet. Right, carry on past the church where we stopped on the last visit. I have no idea where this goes or what it leads to. Oh, that just seemed to be going on and on. I don't particularly fancy travelling miles on the not knowing what's there. Church looks good from this angle. through the village. I'm going to head back to Headcorn. I'm feeling a little bit nibbly. This entrance gets more and more obscured by the hedge every time, every time. We'll go through the bother of setting up the walkabout camera. There's quite a few aircraft kicking around. What's pulled me interest is a couple of old fire tenders. Yeah, now they're really old. There's a fire trailer. Yeah, multi-wheel drive. I believe that's the one that they used for the parachuting people. And a few people jump out of that. mad, a lot of them mad. Right, that's it, back to the bike.